Hello again, it's Jessica with GEM, and I am here to bring you another STEM science experiment. So today we're going to be going back to our acid and base reactions. And if you remember, we did a couple of videos ago, we did our baking soda and we did a vinegar uh, video. And then we did a different one where we did the uh, make your own lava lamp. So we did a couple of ones already with our acid and base different reactions. So you're welcome to go back and watch those again if you'd like. Um, but today we're going to be doing a, something a little bit different for um, our safety rules. Let's start with asking your parents permission for everything, any kind of experiment you guys do with us. Uh, make sure you have any long hair we have is pulled back. We have our long sleeves and pants and we have closed toed shoes. So today let us start with our um, list of supplies. We're going to need some paper towels and we're going to lay those out so we don't drip and we can clean up after ourselves and stay clean in our work area. We need a single piece of paper. I have a notebook paper, but if you have computer paper, that works as well. We're going to need a spoon. So I just have a normal spoon and a bowl. And then we're going to need a fourth of a cup of baking soda and a fourth of a cup of warm water. We just want to make sure that it's warm enough that the baking soda will dissolve. Um, it doesn't have to be hot. We just want to make sure that everything will mix all together. And then we're going to need a paintbrush and some Q-tips and some grape juice concentrate that I'll show in just a bit. So the first thing we're going to need to do is take our paper towel and we're going to lay it flat in front of us and put our piece of paper right on top so nothing drips below it. We just want to protect the counter underneath to protect the table underneath. And then we are going to take our fourth of a cup of baking soda and a fourth of a cup of our water and put it in our bowl. So we're going to combine them and stir them really well. So I have mine already in here. It sometimes separates, so you want to keep stirring it and keep trying to mix it as much as you can. Um, and we want a pretty thick mixture, but um, about a fourth of a cup of each one works. If you find that you like this experiment, you can definitely make more but I would suggest starting with a fourth of a cup of each and see how that does and then you can make the recipe bigger if you'd like. So then what we're going to do is we're going to take our mixture and we're going to take a q-tip and we're going to dip the q-tip in our mixture and write a message on our piece of notebook paper. Just dip it and write whatever you want. So then when that is done, you want it to dry completely. I'm not sure how long it will take. So we're going to sit and see um, how long it is. And then we're going to take our grape juice concentrate and we're going to reveal what the message says. So I got this one and it worked pretty good. So we're going to put that in another bowl. So I have it here. And if you want to use the same bowl, you can, but I would suggest using a different one just in case we don't want the um, chemical reaction to happen in the bowl. We want it to happen on the paper. So then take our paintbrush. You could also use a fresh Q-tip if you want to use that instead. And then we're just going to paint on our page. So we're going to dip. And it should reveal our message. And you have to dip it a couple of times. Okay, and you can see it kind of started to foam up on my brush, but that is okay. So then, you can let it dry a little bit. But there we go. And mine says, Jess says hello. So, and it even turns a different color, so it's super cool. So, um, let's talk about this really quick. Okay, so this is my end result. I let it dry a little bit. Um, I would be careful with the grape juice. It does stain, so just be careful with that. Um, but this is kind of cool. I thought it would turn out a little different, but I really like the way that this turned out. All right, so the, the way that we were able to do that is because the um, grape juice acts as a acid and the baking soda acts as a base. So when they combine, they have a chemical reaction together and they leave a mark that uh, looks a little bit different on the paper than the rest of the paper with just the grape juice on it. So um, I hope you enjoyed the video today. I thought that was a pretty cool experiment. So you can leave your comments or questions or pictures on our Facebook page at Gem Environmental. Um, you can always look at more videos. You can um, try different things. You can do different things than what we did and let us know what worked for you. But we definitely look forward to hearing back. So um, thanks for catching this video and we'll see you next time.